Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to calibrate the SignalScope X app on my iPhone for an external microphone. So I've got my i437L microphone connected. I've got it connected with a cable so that I can hold it here and do things in my hands. Uh, and also my protective case on the iPhone is too big and it won't let the microphone plug in without a cable. So I'm going to open up the SignalScope app and it will take a little bit of a second for it to start up. And I've got the microphone running. It is looking at, if I take a look here, it is at the headset microphone, which is the external microphone that I want. I have this for a Z weighting on slow, is where the settings are. And I can double check down there. I've got a Z weighting, slow, and I'm just measuring the simple sound pressure level. So if I want to calibrate, what I do is I go click on the little um, microphone icon in the upper left hand corner, and it gives me a bunch of options. Um, Faber Acoustics has said that for the best results with one of these Mike WI series microphones, setting the gain to mid tends to give the best results. The device units are set to FS for full scale. I've got the device is my headset microphone and I'm going to calibrate it. And to do that, I hit the input channels, double check to make sure that I've got units of Pascals. You can see what the other units are. Go back. And I'm going to calibrate it by doing one of two things. First of all, I'm just going to use the factory setting that this microphone came with. This microphone came with a factory setting of 26.6 pascals per FS. So I'm going to simply type that number in the range right there. So I'm going to type in 26.6 pascals per FS. Hit done. And that will set it to the number that the factory said this microphone is calibrated for. I'll go back and let it run and see what I get. So now what I'm going to do is just to double check that and see how good it is. I'm going to take my calibrator, my Larson Davis Cal 200, at one, it does 114 and 94 decibels. I've just switched it to the 94 decibel set. I'm going to put the microphone on the holder, put it in there, make sure it's nice and tight. And then if I turn it on, and see what I get for a measurement. Right now I'm getting 93.9, which is pretty close to 94, which it should be. 93.9, 94. So I'm going to double check something. I'm going to, another way to calibrate it, if you actually have the calibrator, is to keep the microphone in the calibrator, go back to the settings, input channels, calibrate, and now I'm going to tell it that it is, the reference level is 94, but now instead of typing in the number, I'm actually going to hit the calibrate button. So hit the calibrate button. It'll give me a warning message that it's going to reset and I'm fine with that. So calibrate and it will go through its calibration process and give me a 94. And if I notice real closely, this calibration input sensitivity number has changed slightly. Instead of 26.6, it's now 26.73. Um, I have found that this number tends to wander around a little bit if I test it in different locations, different temperatures, different times of day. I will get a slightly different number. That's why calibrating it is very useful. But if you don't have a calibrator and you've got an external microphone, an iPhone, and the Faber Acoustic app, you can just type in that sensitivity number, and it usually works pretty well. Go back. Done. And I'm reading the numbers. 94.8. 194.0 when I calibrate it. If I change the calibrate to 114, then the number should change to 114. And the device looks like it's nicely calibrated. All right, there's calibrating a external microphone with my iPhone using the Faber Acoustics app and a calibrator or using the sensitivity information that comes with the microphone from the manufacturer.